What up guys, Taylor here. Got a, a little bit of hotel demolition with some spawn trapping going on. Uh, playing with Jared, one of the other developers, Eric, our promo guy, and then one of his buddies. We've got about a about a half a team here. And uh, I've got an M16 with hardened, and I'll show you how to spawn trap the hell out of this map. So basically, hotel is a really, really symmetric map. There's three ways you can come across it. Left hand side, which is where this A-bomb is. Right hand side, which is where B-bomb is. And right down the pipe. Right down the pipe is probably the worst idea because people always sit in the second story with sniper rifles. So I've got a, uh, a hardened M16 and I'm going to hold down this left hand side right here. The cool thing about a hardened M16, as many of you probably know, you can shoot through anything with it. And when I say anything, anything. So all I'm going to do is uh, i got extended mags on it and I'm not going to try to be the most accurate thing in the world. I'm just going to put a lot of bullets down range and uh, rack up some kill streaks while we're on offense here. As you can see, I'm not trying to plant the bomb. Um, usually when we play, like, we tried to go on a huge winning streak the day the maps came out. Uh, I think we played two days without losing a, a single match. So what I do is I just rack up kill streaks, and then I'll have one of the guys that's not as good as slaying plant the bomb so that I don't lose uh, my kill streak awards. I don't have Scavenger Pro here, which would make this class ideal with Scavenger Pro. You know, I can just sit back there and not have to worry about uh, ammo resupplying. Um, the M16 is also really good hit fired. So, uh, really happy with the new maps. They're very, very well done, and they're very, uh, very good for competitive gaming because they're fair on both sides. So as you can see, we've got B planted. Josh calls out, or not Josh, uh, Jared calls out. He's got that locked down. So I'm gonna sit here and just continue to uh, keep these guys push back on A and keep just racking up, racking up kill streaks. Not even gonna bother putting my sentry gun out right now, but uh, I am on my last mag, so I call that out. I pick up the hind. So at this point, if I die, you know, fantastic. If not, that's fine too. So down to uh, about six bursts left of the M16, which is good for about three kills, if you're accurate. More than likely two at this range. Uh, people like to come this way. Like I said, M16 with Harden. You name it, you can shoot through it. So these guys are just spraying right here. I just popped some shots off this commando to try to push that guy back. Ended up killing him. Uh, I do not like the commando or any automatic weapon at long range. I prefer a um, single shot or burst fire, and you'll see why. If I had M16, I'd have dropped both these guys. The recoil kind of kicks that gun around. I go ahead and call in my hind, um, rack up some kills real quick. Um, if you, like I said, they, now they're all going to be coming A, so I simply uh, just spray the bomb and just kind of keep pushing people back. It's a really crappy map for a helicopter. Uh, I get locked onto it pretty quick. See that it's coming from that side over there. And then I see that he accidentally shoots down the uh, spy plane instead of the helicopter, which uh, that's fine. I'm all for that. Get locked onto it again, not sure from where. So I just start kind of spraying these lobbies. You can actually shoot through the uh, glass roof there, which is good. But apparently I can't shoot through that door. So I get hit and go down, one kill and a gun chip. Whatever. But uh, anyway, Rusty Bolts grabs a rolling thunder, tosses it right in the middle of the map to uh, keep him from coming behind us. And as you can see, he gets a guy, which means that somebody was trying to flank us. Um, I don't even have my Claymore put out yet. So that's how I mean, I'm just not worried about them coming beside us. You'd normally, if I didn't have a team, I would put a Claymore to the door to my right. And uh, that would keep people from flanking from coming around. But at this point, we've got these guys pretty much trapped. So there's not a whole lot they're going to be able to do right here. So I go ahead and just yell at people, all right, let's go ahead and finish this up. Enough of just screwing with these people. Let's, uh, let's get the bomb planted go ahead and finish off this round. So Jared runs over there to plant the bomb. I check our side. Uh, there's nobody on our team that's over there. So all the basically the dev team's right here. So I put that clan on beside us because I know one of these green bean players isn't going to watch that side. See somebody dies over there, so I get ready. Uh, I really don't like this sight on this gun. I prefer iron sights on anything, just because I don't know. I can't. I feel like I can't acquire targets as easily with that goofy little half circle. So we got a guy coming beside there. I go ahead and throw my nade right on top of the bomb, and of course get no one. It's so hard to get those resupply nade kills. Cause I don't throw that many grenades, so it's it took me a long time to get scavenger pro. So uh, another decent class here would be uh, Warlord Pro, just so you have uh, two grenades. But with Warlord Pro, you're not going to have the penetration that you're going to have with Hardened on this. Because normally I, I have a Warlord Pro class with a Galil, with a X Mags, and a Silencer. <clears throat> and I use that kind of more for rushing. But that M16 with Hardened is about the best defensive weapon there is. I mean, well, I mean, a, a G11 would work as well. But I feel like the M16 has the you can shoot through the most stuff with it. And it's an annoying gun too. Like, I mean. It has hardly any recoil, and you can shoot through anything, which makes it a great great defensive gun, but you will be uh, insulted for using it. Whatever. Win's a win. 
And I think it's blackout when nothing registers anyway, so why, uh, why argue? So yeah, um, get a little sidetrack here, I go get set up. Uh, we got the new update for the app out, it's got the uh, KD calculator, so definitely if you don't have our um, Black Ops iPhone app, be sure to check it out, Black Ops VC Pro for uh, iPhone and Android. Um, the Android one's on sale right now, so if you don't have that yet, go ahead and grab it, and I, I want to say it's two bucks on Android versus the four on iPhone right now. Um, we are starting to kind of collect information we can find about MW3, hoping to have our MW3 app app out late summer, maybe around July, August area. And um, the next one we're doing is for uh, Gears of War 3, so if you're a Gears guy, be sure to uh, check out our apps. You know, recently, you know, kind of check with us every once in a, night, uh, oh, no, uh, once in a while in the app store. Uh, so anyway, oh yeah, I want to make a comment about this. This spot right here, you can watch A and B, which is great, which means, you know, you don't have to actually run across the map to go, uh, you know, check out where you need to go. So right here, uh, Rusty Bolts is going to guard this door because people will come behind you, and I'm just going to kind of float back and forth, picking off people left and right. See, I mean, I shot through two walls right there to get that guy finished up. That's why I like the M16 with the extended mags, because you don't exactly have to be accurate. You just got to be able to just fire a lot. So, uh... And then that's another thing with the M16, you know, it's kind of like playing Halo, is I do a lot more aiming, you'll see, with the left stick than the right stick. I'll try to match my my strafe to line up with them at that range more than using the right stick to move the, uh, the right one. So that guy gets behind us, and of course, Eric forgets to call him out. So, I was a little mad there, because I'm pretty sure that was my first death. I was like 25 or 21 and 0. Which isn't a big deal, I think I only died once or twice on this game anyways. So they get B, everybody says that they've got B taken care of, so I don't even bother going over there, I kind of just peek through this wall and uh, shoot who I can. You can shoot through the bomb with Harden Pro, so that's another thing. They ended up actually detonating that bomb, which I thought was a good thing, because I enjoy getting a ton of kills this game. So now they have to come down A Street, which just isn't going to happen. If you've got, um, me and Josh played this the other day, Josh ran into so there's a triple kill right there. You can shoot down that hallway, and they spawn in one of those back corners, so you can actually spawn kill people pretty well. I've got a video of me and Josh playing where we both used Harden M16 to just spray through that wall, and uh, Josh gets a quad, then I get a quad, which is pretty funny. And uh, we were getting yelled at pretty hard after that game. But, uh... So yeah, we're pretty excited about uh, MW3. We've got some really cool ideas for what we're going to do on the app. Uh, Activision's kind of getting a little strict about images and stuff we can use, so um, you know we'll have to do a little bit of different images and graphics and stuff like that, but it'll still be a content-wise just as good as this app or better. We've got a couple of ideas for things. I'm not going to go ahead and say them now because I know a couple of other developers watch this channel, so I don't want to uh, give away all my little, all my little secrets and care about that. There's going to be some cool stuff we haven't done before that we're going to add in the uh, MW3 app, as well as our, uh, we're going to have a tournament site up and running for sure when in the MW3 comes out, which will be neat, because uh, we're definitely going to play in it. So, yeah, I think we played uh, the new maps, which are, like I said, which are great, definitely worth spending, you know, the 20 bucks on or whatever. Um, we played them for about three days, you know, over the WHP weekend. Should have been studying for finals, but what can you do? I think we lost three games in three days. I mean, if you got a team and... You know, you play play smart. We played Mosh Pit the whole time. You won't lose. And uh, especially with how the maps are set up, I mean, there's some, there's definitely a lot of strategy involved. And uh, if you can if you can figure it out, like we do here, I mean, especially on demolition, then you'll just make them look stupid. Your sentry gun is gone. So I, I think I get them to respond somehow. If if somebody's doing this to you, by the way, uh, don't keep rushing down that hall and giving them kills. Go way far around by where B-Bomb is, go all the way through the back of the spawn, come out that side door, and you can come directly behind them. We had a team doing this to us, so we all did that, and we got in there behind them in their spawn, planted A, and it was over. So there's a really easy way to to uh, counter this, and as you'll see, we keep either Jared or Eric on that side to make sure that they don't come down that hallway, and if they do, we call them out, because I can, you know, like I said, I can see B and try to put a couple shots on the guy. And, uh, oh yeah, I am always the person that gets hit with every mortar strike in Black Ops, and I got hit with every Predator missile, Ghost Pro or not, in uh, Modern Warfare 2, so I don't even get mad at that, even though I'm pretty sure I was one or two away from a, uh, I guess I was one away from my sentry gun, because I get a gun chip again at the, right at the end of this game, I hit the flag for about half a second, which was super awesome. 
<clears throat> I'm sitting really far from the computer. I hope you guys can hear me. I don't know how to read this entire commentary. So yeah, you shoot down this hallway right here. That's the one that uh, I like to shoot down to uh, get people as they spawn. Because they will spawn in that back corner back there. And uh, you can shoot through that wall as well pretty easily. So we get a couple of guys behind us and beside us. So I go ahead and clean both of them up real quick. And then that's why I always run spy plane. It's just good to have spy planes in the air. Uh, guy calls it a mortar strike, so I get out of there. I'm not even sure he gets any of us with it because we all just kind of scattered. So he kind of blocked my spot for a minute, so I'm going to sit on this left hand side and make sure I'm not coming. And then toss some nades over that wall. You can throw nades over that wall, and uh, if you have a frag grenade, you can throw it from the opposite wall and land it right here, which uh, is another good way to get out of this little uh, trap. So they actually plant the bomb, which we weren't exactly panicking about, because we were at this point we were just trying to rack up a ton of kills. So we just kind of, eh, they planted it, whatever. So I, a couple of our guys go over there to run and defuse it. Now we have a blackbird, so these, these guys are in a really bad position. And uh, hope I press back on the D-pad pretty soon. I want to see what I want. I know, I know some guys in there are mad negative. But I mean, like really, they weren't playing smart. Like, you should not come down that corner like eight times in a row. I mean, after you've died ten times, yeah. So I'm 43 and 2. And I mean, dude, I don't think anyone on their team is positive. So all I'm doing here is just spraying down this wall. The guy tries to plant the bomb. Wouldn't make you a smart move there. We have 13 seconds, and I'm like one or two away from my uh, gunship, so I'm not going to bother with that sentry gun. I just keep, <laughs> just literally just let him go. So I shoot that guy at that flower bed, finish him off the wall there's behind, and I get to fly it for a lot more than one second. But uh, anyway, we two of those guys, you know, I think we played a couple games of search without ever, played a couple games of search, like I said, without uh, losing a round. We four would a lot of people in two and a lot of people in demo. But anyway, uh, if you haven't checked out our iPhone and Android app, Black Ops VC Pro, be sure to check it out. Uh, a lot of people have been asking what VC stands for. It's a Virtual Coach, which is what our uh, YouTube channel is called, and that's kind of what we like to think of ourselves as, you know. So it's, uh, it's not like what most people think. It's not a, you know, a, a game guide where it's just going to tell you, you know, here's a picture of the M16, here's what it does. I mean, this app has tons of strategies, you know, a team builder, forums, match finders, you know, you can upload your own strategies, there's chat rooms. I mean, it's, it's a really cool... They are a really good tool. Uh, we added the new KD calculator, which you can keep your aggregate stats in and see, you know, which maps you're good at, which maps you're bad at, and stuff like that. Um, you can watch videos, upload videos. There's tons of stuff on there, so be sure to check it out. You can find it by searching uh, Taylor Pierce or just uh, search in Black Ops. I think we're like the number four, four or five. Hit on that, and then same thing on Android. Just search Black Ops, and you'll uh, you'll find it on there as well. Uh, I've got a couple more videos of the new maps. I think we've got one on every one of them. So. Uh, We'll put those up today. Be sure to check them out. Take it easy, guys. Peace.